what I'm doing right now, the music I'm dropping, I want it. I want the number one spot. I will have it. You know, I'm. This is what I'm going for, and and I want to beat the press. I want to beat, you know, anybody that ever like tried to make me out to be just so crazy and so this and so that. Thank you. You just adding to the excitement. You're giving me stuff to write about. I want the number one spot. I'm going for it. I'm about to take it. This is what I'm here to do. This is, I mean, what, what, what else do you want me to do? That's why I go to the studio so I can murder shit. This is, you know, this is my job. This is my life. This is my passion. It's the competitive nature of hip hop. We gotta compete on some levels. You see what I'm saying? Like Kanye West is a talented producer. In fact, I actually stopped by the studio to see if he could provide a different creative direction for myself. And I heard some of the material that he had at that point. I was like, wow, you know, some joints there, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Well, 50 said that Can't Tell Me Nothing was his favorite joint. Yeah. We went with Can't Tell Me Nothing first. And it worked. Yeah. See what I'm saying? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But I wish yeah. I would have told him the other one was so it wouldn't be so yeah. much competition going on right now. Nah, that's what makes it exciting, though. You know, that's what makes it good. Yeah. Well, I heard he was in the studio with Timberland. So I, I was like, oh, this nigga's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go back in and just, I, I really, for real, we started listening to more beats. I did three extra records before it's time to come out. Hip hop, people was just dropping albums, like, you know, competition. Like when Biggie and Wu-Tang and Jay and Nas was all coming at the same time, people was like, yo, I want that. Raekwon, I want to have the best joint. So I mean, the competitive nature of, it, of this art form doesn't exist in R&B or in classical music or jazz. And they, they make great music but it's not as competitive as hip hop. That's why you get the friction. They say it's beef, that's the new terminology for battling. Yeah, I look at it like a sport. Yeah. I look at these like championship moments and stuff. So this is the only sport where people really going for that number one spot and going for that moment to be the most important, the most talked about, have the most freestyles, the most airplay, the most show dates. I just want to make a record that really embodies what people are going through. I just looked at this era, like it's, it's a different day and age of the MySpace era and everybody's their own superstar and everybody has their own band or their own songs and they had their own photo shoot and everything. So I wanted to make music that just fit into their world, like stuff that was a soundtrack for their life. So when I make a record like, wait till I get my money right, people might look at me like, yo, you already got your money right. But when I seen Fifth do the vitamin water, I knew I didn't have my money right. You know, I, my money wasn't <laughs> right, quite right enough. Uh, <laughs> But still, you know, for a regular person, when they hear that, they, they, they vibe with that, like, wait till I get my money, right? Yeah. You can't tell me nothing, right? I think that we both had our ups and downs. It's like, they try to almost take our moments away from us and forget who the real, you know, kings of this, of this game were for a second. When we came up with those records that connected, now people are like, oh, yo, serious right now. And that's the reason why it's more talk about, this is the most talk about a release date since, like, fifth. First album dropped since Snoop's album dropped. I don't remember what my release date was last album. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, and I did, I did 860, and I don't know what the actual that was. The a, date that was, was a stunt. And so this is 860. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was I mean, numbers. But for like now, people are gonna remember this date for the rest of their life. People talk about it every day in the barbershops. They're talking about it at the offices. They're talking about it. the internet's talking about it. This date is building up so much. That's right. It's yeah. impossible for you not to know yeah. Kanye West and Fifty Cent is out September 11th.